What's going on everybody? It's Childish back out of the game, coming at you with another Summoner's War video. And in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the new Summoner's Pass here for April of 2023 to see if this new Nat 5, the Wind Beast Monk Ritesh, is worth building. So in today's video, guys, I wanna give you all a shout out before we even get into it. Again, all the support that we've been getting over the past two weeks, I cannot even believe it. I'm super grateful to have you guys in my corner. Thank you guys so much for your support. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, welcome to the channel. If you guys are enjoying the content that you've seen so far and you want to go ahead and help me out, do me a favor, show your support, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and as always, hit the notification bell so you guys know when the next video drops. Now, if you guys are uh, relatively new, maybe you're on the global server, for you, it's going to be the Wind Magic Knight. We, decent, we, we recently put out a video uh, not even uh, a week ago talking about the Wind Magic Knight and how useful it can be for Naraka. Uh, now, mind you, there is a couple of free to play options that are going to be a little bit better for you. But if you're one of those people out there that need an option for Naraka and also want to utilize it in maybe PvP, then yes, the Wind Magic Knight is good for you. But let's get it, let's not get it twisted here. When it comes to the Summoner's Pass, we should not be thinking about, oh, should we get this or get this not if if we're just looking at the Nat 5 per se. It's not about the Nat 5. It's about everything that you can collect over the course of this. Okay, we're talking about Skystones, we're talking about gold, we're talking about Devilmon. We're literally talking about every single thing that we're looking for here. And again, the cool thing about it is, is that we do get enough copies of this one to essentially get it to A10. So it's, so it's almost like it's almost like two copies, essentially, if you decide to go for it. But that being said, though, there's so much value to be had when it comes to this ability or sorry, this particular pack here. And then, of course, without question, not even so much the stuff that we get, but more so the benefit that we get from the different uh, events that are going on. Getting the times two bonus here. Um, it's outrageously beneficial if you are a spender. So if you guys are a spender, definitely go ahead and invest into this. Now, when it comes to the old Wind Beast Monk here, um, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit this one hard here. You know, I ain't gonna lie. Spoiler alert: This is not my you know top pick for a you know a must build unit that I want to go ahead and uh, get out there. But at the end of the day, it has a pretty interesting kit. So we're gonna take a look at it, see if it's even even worth building, right? So again. Wind Beast Monk Ritesh, we have it. We have a copy of it now. Uh, we're gonna go right into it here. We're gonna take a look, look at it. Let me see if we can, actually, I was thinking about the, they should have like an option there to go ahead and click on it, but apparently they do not. So as always, <clears throat> we're gonna go over to the monster bug, head on over to the wind, and now we got ourselves a copy of the Wind Beast Monk Ritesh, okay? So again, it's a Wind Knight. Uh, looks like it's gonna be HP scaling, you know, with, some, with a little bit of, uh, a little bit of everything here, right? We got some electric shocks, some broke, some hippie recovery, some defense up. We got a lot of things going on here, but let's take a look at the first go, right? Skill one, obviously the basic attack. Uh, there's nothing that, there's nothing special about it. We've been taking a look at a couple of units here over the past week or so, having some kind of you know unique mechanic on the first go. So I wanted to make sure there wasn't anything going on and there absolutely isn't, right? The second skill though, or the first act of skill, meditate, um, similar to the version of Sky Arena, but a little bit different, a little bit different, right? This one's gonna recover the allies target HP and applies defense up to itself. Uh, recovery amount is based on the smash HP. So there's a couple of good things going on, a couple of bad things going on. The mana cost is relatively though. The amount of heal that it provides to your ally is based on its max HP, which of course you're gonna be building in a relatively uh, tanky fashion when it comes to HP, right? Um, but the unfortunate thing is that the defense buff up doesn't apply to the ally's target. It's gonna be applying to yourself here. So that being said, you might be to, you know, look at this like, well, that's kind of weird. You know, your, your goal is to like, you know, get that unit alive, make it nice and tanky here, but it's a little bit selfish, you know, when you think about it here, providing the defense up to itself. Well. The reason for that is because of this third skill, Trick of Wind. Trick of Wind is definitely different than the Summoner's War Sky Arena counterpart. This particular ability is going to be doing damage based on max HP, which is obviously really nice here, but it's also going to provoke the targets and apply electric shocks. So again, we get a high chance of provoking. We got a pretty much guaranteed chance of electric shock with a high activation rate. Um, and then we also have a continuous recovery to itself to provide a little bit of heal. So again, this is going to be another option here for a tank um, when it comes to it. But you know, when I compare it to some of the other tanks out there, um, you know, me personally, I, I think I, I think would opt for them like a fire panda over this one here. But that being said, though, take a look at this passive. <clears throat> you will see thunder enemy, uh, thunder energy. This is the kind of combination that it provides to itself. So it has a passive that provides defense up when the uh, unit is gets attacked by the target under electric shock. So again, it's kind of a nice little combination. If you happen to hit this skill three, get that electric shock on them, or provide electric shock from some other unit out there um, that you can combine with this one here, then yes, you will get a little bit of uh, added bonus here between a defense up um, for 14 seconds here, level two. That being said though, again, um, when I take a look at everything that this one provides here, uh, I don't think it's just that that end all be all kind of really good tank. Again, I'm just speculating given the fact of what I read versus what I currently see out there as far as really, really strong units here. I think that there are other better options, but again, when it comes down to it, we're buying the pass, we're getting this free nat five, that is great. And you never know down the road, they may change this one for the better here. So again, if you guys are wondering, 
Um, should you build this? Should you not? If you decide to spend $10 on this particular pack, I wouldn't go out of my way to build it. I would not go out of my way to invest it. I do believe there are quite a few other Nat 5s as a, as a knight that you can definitely focus on. Free to play. Free to play for sure, for sure. So again, fam, um, that's gonna be it for the video. I just wanted to do a quick review on this particular unit. Let me know in the comment section down below, how do you feel about it? Is he good? Is he food? Do you go out of your way to build this one? Do you think this actually could be useful in the meta as it currently is today here? Um, I can't wait to hear your feedback on that. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, man. Uh, again, happy Monday to you all. I apologize in advance for the, the late, late video here. It's been a crazy day to say the least here, trying to get that workout in, trying to get the work done. Uh, and now, of course, getting ready uh, for my little one here, it's going to be here in less than three weeks, building all the fun stuff when it comes to uh, uh, like a little baby. What are they? I don't even know what they're called. The, the bassinets and all that good jazz. We got to build all that stuff. I got to get, I'm literally making this video, trying to get it done so I can go back into building and helping out the lady here. So yeah, guys, that's going to be it for the video. Thank you guys so much for your support. And as always, fan, if you guys enjoyed this video in any way, shape or form, you all know what to do. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and we will see you guys all in the next one. Take care.